Yesu wakuita Tusika tetapo Katika shida za Yesu wakuita Akupe amani yako Uliyo nyangadwa nae Uobu shetani Akupe amani yako Uliyo nyangadwa nae Uobu shetani Ewe nungu yangu Usiwa na yoku Nishukurani kubwa Kwa mungu wa mama mwanzilishi Katika mtumishi wake Yeye hutuleta Kama anapotaka yeye mwenyewe Tunapo kuja kanisani Faja Kama watu wapia Tuje tupewe neno That we may be given a word that can benefit us. Ukiona tumekusanyika hivi. If you find that we are gathered together like this, tumekusanyika. We have gathered together. Kwa sababu because Mungu ameweka neno kwa ajili yetu. God has prepared a word for our sake. Leo tunakusikiliza. All you have to do is to listen to the word. Listen to the speaker. Anaposimama hapa. When he stands here. Ujue ana neno. You should know that he has a word. Limewekwa ndani yake. I have been put in him. Kwa ajili yako. For your sake. Kwa hivyo sikiliza kwa kutaka. So listen attentively. Tena sikiliza kwa kupenda. And listen with love. Sikiliza kwa amani. Listen with this. Upokee that you may receive it. Neno lile that word atakaolinena. That is going to speak to you. Haneni kwa nafsi yake. He doesn't speak on his own soul. Ananena kwa sababu. He is talking because ninyi ni watu wa Mungu. That you are the people of God. Na hilo neno ni la Mungu. And the word is coming from God. Limekuja kwa ajili yetu sote. And he has come for our sake. Sasa kila kila mtu So every one of us anacho kuwa sehemu yake is receiving his portion. Huyo anakumbusha haya. Oh this one is reminded that. Huyo anakumbusha haya. Aaron is reminded that. Huyo amesahau hapa. And this one has forgotten here. Anakumbusha. He is reminded. Neno la Mungu. The word of God. Kazi yake ni kukukumbusha. His work is to remind you. Ile menendo yako. Oh you are man of love. Vile unavyoenda mbele za Mungu. You are moving before people. Na Mungu anatupenda. And God loves you. Ndio sababu. That's why. Amesimamisha mtu katika He has made a man to stand before us. Mwisho wa Mungu Immanuel kea mzungu Immanuel kea mzungu yeye unena naye kila wakati He normally talks to him every time Akampa neno and he gives him a word Waambie ndugu zako hivi Tell your brothers this Waambie ndugu zako hivi Tell your brothers this Waambie ndugu zako hivi Tell your brothers this 
And when the word comes, you know, he is not coming from a human being. It is coming from God. And it is for yourself. So you receive it with joy. God has given him that word. He wants to deliver you. That he may remove all the hindrances. That he may give you all your desires. Amen. That he may remove all your problems. That he may give you all your desires. Amen. So now that we have come, and the speaker is also ready. He is very ready. He is waiting for his time to come. That he may begin and give us the word. So we have no reason to delay him. Let us give him a chance early that he may be able to minister to us to tell us all that God of the founder has put in him this morning. So let us all burden our heads. 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 Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako bwana. Ninakushukuru mwokozi mwema kwa upendo wako mkuu. Asante kwa hilo neno ambalo bwana umelitayarisha ndani ya mnenaji tayari bwana kunileta kwetu bwana. Baba ninakushukuru sasa kwa kusanyika hili lote wamekusanyika bwana kwa ajili ya hilo neno uleo niweka ndani yake. Bwana tupe usikizi ule mwema. Tuajalie bwana kunisikia na kulipokea bwana baba ninakushukuru na nifungue ibada hii mikononi mwako nikiamini Mungu wa mazilishi huko pamoja nasi ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mokozi wetu ah, amen amen asante ah, bwana Yesu amen asante bwana Yesu Hivyo ndugu zangu wapendwa. So my beloved. Tulieni mahali mlipo. Become where you are. Tulie mahali ulipo. Become where you are. Neno linakuja pale pale. The word is coming right there. Sina kutaka wewe. It needs you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Karibu pastor. So welcome pastor. Karibu pastor Rimba. Welcome pastor Rimba. Uje unene na sisi. Come and talk to the people. Watu wako tayari. People are ready. Wanataka kusikia. They want to hear the word. Toka kwako. From you. Ni nini Mungu aliamuru? What exactly has God commanded? Watu wasikilize. That the people may hear. Nena kila neno. So speak every word. Mungu anadokuambia. That God is telling you. Sisi tuko hapa tunakusikiliza. We are here to hear from you. Karibu pastor. Welcome pastor. Karibu sana. Welcome very much. Amen. Salimu katika jina kula wana Yesu. Amen. Ya subuhi njema Mungu wetu wa mwanzilishi ametuleta pamoja. It is a good morning that our God has brought us together. Ukujua utakuwa hapa. You never knew that you'll be here. Wala mimi sikujua nitakuwa hapa. Neither did I know that I will be here. Lakini Mungu, but then God, aliyetuumba, who created us Umetembea wiki yote. You have been walking all the, the week. Lakini yeye alijua utakuwa hapa. But he knew that you would be here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mimi nami alijua nitakuwa hapa. And he also knew that I would be here. Umetuokoa na kila vizuizi. He has delivered us from all the hindrances. Umesafiri hapa na pale. You have been traveling up and down. Katika biashara zako. In your businesses. Watoto wetu wakiamushwa na kuenda shule na kurudi. Our children are woken up every morning going to school and Mungu coming back. God is securing them. Kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. By the prayers of his servant Emmanuel Kea. Paka tumevushwa tumesikishwa kuona Jumapili ya leo. Until we are made to cross and made to see this Sunday. Letu ni kumshukuru Mungu. So what we have to do is to thank God kwa usalama huo because of the security. Kwa ulinzi huo because of the security. Tukijua ni rehema zake. Knowing that it is through his mercy. Yeye ametaka tuwe hapa. And again he has will that we should be here. Si bahati ni Mungu ametaka. It is not by love but it's God's will. Kwa yule ambaye Mungu hakutaka, to those who maybe God has not willed, ayuko hapa. He's not together with us here. Amen. Amen. Atukio hapa. So while we are here, tuko mbele za Mungu. We are before God. Tumeletwa. We have been brought kukumbushana yale mtumishi wa Mungu upewa kila wakati. That we may remind each other of what the servant of God is given every time. Tena, and again, tusahau kuzingatia, we should not forget to take care. Maana yuko adui anatuinda. Because the enemy is within us hunting for us. Shetani, the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Latuinda is hunting for us. Kuna janga lile linaendelea. There is an ep- a pandemic going on. La corona. Of corona. Kwa hiyo wapo nyumbani ujapo kanisani. So where you are at home and coming to church? Tunazingatia masharti yale. We should take care of those protocols. Baba barakoa sawa. We are your face mask care okay, well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mejaribu tuwezavyo kwa geti zetu, maji na sanitizer na kila kitu. Let us try all our level best to make sure we are sanitized. Salama wako, salama wa jirani yako. It is for your security and the security of your neighbors. Tumuomba Mungu wetu. Let us pray to our God. Atuokoe na dhiki hii. That he should deliver from this pandemic. Maana ni ulimwengu mzima jamani. Because it is all over the world. Mungu atusamee atuokoe. That God should forgive us and deliver. Nataka tupumzike na janga hili. We want to rest from this pandemic. Tumechoka. We are tired. Mungu atusamee. That God should forgive us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pumzike. That we may get rest. Angaa tufanye kazi zetu kwa amani. At least we should be able to do our work peacefully. Tumwabudu Mungu wetu kwa uhuru. That we should worship our God with some freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio popote ulipo pigapo magoti. That's wherever you are when you kneel down. Usisahau kumuomba Mungu wetu kila wakati atuokoe. We should not forget to pray to our God every time to deliver. Na hili ulimwengu mzima. From this uh, pandemic which is all over the world. Hatujui Mungu amelenga nini. We don't know exactly what's the aim of God. Alisema hata angamiza tena dunia na garika. He said he'll never make the world perish again through the flood. Kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja tu, Lutu. Because of one human being Lord. Baada ya kuokolewa na garika, after he had been delivered from the floods, alimtolea Mungu dhabihu za kumshukuru. He offered to God a thanksgiving sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu akasema, and God said kwa sababu ya hili because of this I will never again smite the whole world kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja tu because of this one man anaitwa Lutu his name is Lord baada ya kuona ameokolewa after seeing that he had been delivered na garika from the flood hata ameponywa and that he had been delivered yeah, na wanawe, he together with his children zake, and his wives na kila mnyama aliyemuingiza ndani ya safina and every animal that was in the ark He gave to God a, a, a thanksgiving sacrifice. Mungu akapendezwa. And God was pleased. Sisi nasi tuko wengi sisi. So we are many today. Hatujui Mungu ameleta pigo hili. We don't know why God has brought this pandemic. Ndio ni kwa sababu baada ya kubarikiwa tumejazwa mali, tumejazwa fedha. Maybe because after we have been, been blessed and you are full of wealth. Ndio hatumtolee Mungu. Some of us are not sacrificing to God. Makanisa yakakujengwa tu yajengi. And we need to construct churches but we are not doing that. Tunafanya anasa. We are doing our pleasures. Amen. Amen. Mtu anaacha mkewa anaenda kwa mwingine. You are leaving your wife going to another woman why? Pengine Mungu amechukizwa. That's the reason why maybe God is angered. Tumeokolewa na mengi hatumtumikii Mungu. We have been delivered from many but we are not serving God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pengine Mungu ameleta garika hii. Maybe God that's the reason why God has brought this pandemic. That we should be prayerful. Kwa hivyo mtumishi wa Mungu Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. So the son of God Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Kwa tuko hapa kwa niaba yake. Amewasalimia sana kwa jina kuu la Bwana Yesu. He's greeted you in the great name of Jesus Christ. Sana sana sana. Very much and very much and very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salamu nyingi. Much much greeting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Santeni kwa kupokea salamu. Thank you very much for receiving the greetings. Ikiwa dunia iliokolewa kwa mmoja so, if the world was secure because of one man anaitwa Lot his name was Lot kwa sababu because alipoona ameokolewa when he saw that he had been delivered na garika from the flood hata yuko salama and that he was safe yeye na watu wake he together with his people na kila mnyama aliyemuingiza mle ndani and every animal that was in the ark akatafuta wanyama wale wanono wanono wale so he had not to look for the fat animals akatengeza madhabahu and he prepared an, uh, a tabernacle akachoma vio vio sadaka kwa Mungu and he burned them to be an offering to God Mungu akaangalia akaona and God observed and saw that the view is or these sacrifices tena amechagua zile nonono zile and again he has chosen the very fat and these are many to lay and he has offered them to me Mungu akafurahi. So God rejoiced. Akasema kutoka leo. And he said beginning today. Kwa sababu yako wewe Lord, because of you Lord, hii dunia hii, the whole world, sitaipiga tena. Will never again be smitten. Ah nimejua mawazo ya mwanadamu tangu tumboni ni mabaya. Because I've known the thought of a human being from his mother's womb are evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Sasa pengine Mungu ameangalia, amengoja. So maybe God has been waiting Angalau sisi nasi tufuate nyayo za lutu yule. At least we may that follow the footsteps of Lot. Ametuokoa na garika ya umaskini. He has delivered us from the floods of poverty. Tumetajirishwa huku na huku. We have been made to have wealth here and there. Badala ya kumtolea Mungu sadaka nono, instead of giving to God a fat sacrifice, zaka za kumpendeza, and a, a, a tithe that's pleasing to him, tunaendea anasa. We are going to our own pleasures. Amen. Amen. Mtu anaacha mkewe anaenda kwa wenzake. You forsaking your wife, you go to another man's wife. Vijana badala ya kuokolewa na garika ya kukosa kazi, the youth after having been delivered from the floods of lack of employment, haya amepata kibarua, now today I've got an employment, kila mwezi anapata shilingi ya kumuokoa sabuni angaa na sadaka, at least every month you're earning some salary you can buy soap and some sacrifice, anakesha kwa guests, but then you are spending the whole night in guests, na wasichana wa watu, with girls, amen, amen. So maybe God has been observing. Let us read from the book of Genesis chapter 8. Then why are we perishing? Why are we perishing? If we say it is now going down, it is getting worse. So why are we perishing? And God said, for sure, I will never again destroy the earth from flood. So why today do we have these floods? Let us pray to God that he may deliver us. Maybe we are not grateful to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, girls are not grateful. And boys are also not grateful. And the elders are also not grateful. And the mothers are also not grateful. We have been delivered from floods. Oh, the rains are coming and we are harvesting. And God is looking. We have been harvesting bags and bags of maize. Instead of giving to God a sacrifice with church, Everyone is selling and you are flying. You are to South Africa. And if you look at this person traveling all this way, it's not that he's going to look for salvation there. He's looking for his love in South Africa. I'm going there on Saturday and on Sunday he's coming back to Kenya and on Monday he's going to work because he has sold a hundred bags of men. That's why you may see today there are no rains Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read from the book of Genesis chapter 8 verse 20 and 21. Nuhu akamjengea Bwana madhabahu, akatoa katika kila mnyama aliyesafi, na katika kila ndege aliyesafi, akavitoa sadaka ya kuteketezwa juu ya madhabahu. Bwana akasikia harufu ya kumridisha, Bwana akasema moyoni, sita ilani inchi tena baada ya hayo, kwa sababu kwa sababu ya wanadamu maana mawazo ya moyo wa mwanadamu ni mabaya tangu jana wake wala sitapiga tena baada ya hayo kila kilicho hai kama nilivyofanya and noah built an altar unto the lord and took of every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar and the lord smelled a sweet savor and the lord said in his heart i will not again cast the ground any more for man's sake for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. Amen. Amen. That is God. Because he saw that he never again smite the earth. Then why are we smitten again? We are filled with fear the whole world. Fear everywhere. Then why do we have this pandemic again? And we are his children. And God said. He will never again smite the earth. And again from floods. I will never smite it again. Because of one man. No. When he saw that he had been delivered Nakifo. from death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was flooding everywhere in the world. And all the people had perished. But when he was told to build the altar, Akaunda. he built it. Amen. Amen. He didn't say, why do we build the ark? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he built the ark. 
Mungu akamwambia and God told him Chukua familia yako weke ndani Take your family inside the ark Na mnyama mzuri and every clean beast Wawili wawili weka ndani Go to every animal Akatii and he obey Leo safi na Yesu ni bwana safi na yetu ni bwana Yesu Today the ark is Jesus Christ Mungu anataka watu wanadamu wamkimbilie Mungu God wants all human beings to run towards God Waache uovu That they should forsake all the Safi na yetu leo ni bwana Yesu Our ark today is Jesus Christ Wamkimbilie yeye That we should all run to him Waache mabaya That we should forsake all evil mema. and do good Haleluya Haleluya So maybe God has been observing hata wale walio ndani ya kanisa even those who are inside the church who are saying they are delivered and salvation na wiki yote wanashinda kwa maovu and again the whole week they stay doing evil amen amen Yo Mungu ametukizwa that's why God is not offended hallelujah hallelujah lakini Lutu yeye but then Lord alipoona ameokolewa when he saw that he had been delivered na garika from the flood He gave to God a sacrifice. So if we are also in Jesus Christ, tuko salama. We are very safe. Mungu anasema, and God is saying, tumtolee za kumshukuru. Let us give to him a thanksgiving sacrifice. Mimi nilikuja hapa mwaka wa 76. I came here in 1976. Nimemezwa na garika huko kwetu. I have been swallowed by floods from our home. Kilifi pande hiyo. In Kilifi those areas. Chonyi huko huko. In Chonyi. Haleluya. Haleluya. Garika imenimeza ya magonjwa. The flood of diseases had swallowed me. Magonjwa ya kifua kikuu. The diseases of tuberculosis. Ikachanganyika na asthma. And there was also asthma. Wakati wa baridi namna hii ilikuwa siwezi siwezi kupumua. At times of cold like this I cannot breathe. Nateseka. So I'm getting persecuted. Kifua cha damu. Coughing blood. Baba akaniagua and my father treated me kwa uganga wa kienyeji through traditional medicine bana ameenda burugani ameambiwa nimeroba na wachawi because they have gone to Susa and been told that I have been bewitched na wachawi hayuko mbali and the witch is not far away from us akatabiriwa ni babu yangu wa ukooni and it was prophesied to him that he is my grandfather haleluya haleluya akaambiwa mchawi wa mwanao he was told that the witch bewitched my son ni babu ni babu ni, ni jirani just a neighbor ambaye kila asubuhi ndio wa kwanza kubisha hodi. Who every morning is coming knocking to our home. Hodi wenyewe huku. Knocking here. Mume amkaje. Hey, good morning. Akaambiwa basi huyo ndio mchawi. So he was told that that is not the witch. Ndio mchawi wa nyumba yako. That is now the witch of your house. Akaja akatuelezea. So he came and told her. Na akasema. And again he said. Sasa ninyi mwaona yule anayekuja kila asubuhi nani hapa? So who do you see is coming every morning? Babu yetu anatupenda. Is our grandfather who loves us. Kila asubuhi ni wenyewe huku. Every morning he knocks there. Good morning, how are you? Je, wazukuu wameamkaje? Oh, how are the grandchildren? Baba akasema ni uongo. And my father say he's Uli a liar. Ni wana utabiri wa wa mpiga ramli huyo. The suit says Mtabigaramuli amesema the suser has said the witch who is bewitching your husband upendo mwingi has a lot of love si upendo si upendo si but upendo but that is not love it is not love maana yake anakufunika uone ni upendo lakini huyo ndiye mchawi that means he just covering you but then he is the witch hapo mtaja jina he never mentioned him by his name yeye alieleza hivyo he just gave an explanation huyo mchawi huyo the witch hakosi kubisha hodi kila asubuhi he comes there every morning Then ana furaha nyingi sana. And again with a lot of joy. And a lot of masses. Haya huyo ndiye anako. Now that is the man bewitching the children. Akasema ni nani hapa? So he said who among us here? Ni babu yenu wa ukoo. He must be your grandfather here. Nilitukia babu huyo. So we really hated that grandfather. Nilitukia babu huyo. We really hated him. Nilitukia babu huyo. I really hated that grandfather. Nikawaza mimi ni mdogo kweli. And I thought I was here. Lakini nikiwa mkubwa. But when I grow big. Ninanoa panga. I will sharpen up my sword. Na njia za kwetu kule 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 kwetu kule. And at our home there if you chore vicho choro ndio njia za kwetu there are small footpath there hallelujah hallelujah sasa nitamvizia siku moja so i will attack him one day na yeye ana sauti kubwa and he has a very loud voice akisalimia watu wenyewe huko mjambo when he is greeting people there good morning how are you kajipita tu ni kati ishi i will hide myself and cut his neck ananionea mimi kwani nimemkosa nini why is he oppressing me what have i done to him nilikula chake kipi mimi what have i eaten from him hata ananiroga that he is not bewitching me sijui kitu mimi i never knew anything nikawa mimi na baba yangu so i believe the word of my father baba kaniagua so my father treated me nikavaa hirizi and i wore charms nikashinda but that was not able to kuliwa nikapelekwa kilifi i was taken to taken to kilifi kilifi this is to hospital kilifi this is hospital nako adam i was coughing blood mashaka problem wili hauna amani the borders no peace mwaka wa 71 in 
Kalazwa. So I was admitted. So all physicians were examining me. They never saw the disease. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the last doctor came and said, I want your stool. I want your stool to go take it for examination. I never knew who he was. He was a tall man, brown. I, I was not really feeling like believing but because my faith is the, the doctor to treat me Waganga wa kienyeji wa meshindwa. Medicine men were not able. Baada ya kuaguliwa kienyeji. After being treated na kuchanjwa mwili wote huu and being tattooed the whole body. Baba akanichukua akanipeleka kwa wataalamu. My father now took me to physician. Sako wadamu. So was coughing blood. Bila huna amani. The body has no pain. Before akina amani. The chest has no pain. Daktari akasema nataka choo yako. So the physician said I want a stool. Nikaenda tuone. So I went to the toilet. Na chupa yangu ndogo with my small bottle. Achupa kadogo akanipatia. A very small bottle that he gave me. Chupa ndogo kama zile za toothpick zile. Small bottle like that one holding toothpick. Anambia nataka choo yako. He said I want your stool inside this bottle. Kwa sababu ya ile imani nakutaka kupona. Because of that faith I want to be healed. Nikaenda kweli. I went truly. Sisi ki haja. I didn't feel like relieving myself. Lakini kwa kule kutaka kupona. But because I want to be treated. Imani yangu iko kwa daktari. And my faith is in the physician. I went there and squeezed myself. By faith, I got some little stool. Because everything is by faith. So I got some little stool. And I put it inside the bottle. And I closed the bottle and took it to him. So they examined that. They never saw the disease. That is a flood of diseases. Hallelujah. Okay. I was taken to an ambulance. Taken to Coast General Hospital. X-ray. X-ray. They said now the chest is growing. Go home, don't do any hard work. So my, my father also take your son home, but he should not do any hard work. And truly I was not able to do any hard work. Even talking like this, I will come out of this place unable to speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am unable. I cannot cultivate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cannot do anything. So I said, my grandfather disabled me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But then my, my father was not able to treat me. And the physician had said the solution is going to go hard. So I had been given a card. In school I should not do any other. I should not do any hard work. And the parents are also steady father I should not do any hard work. I'm a young boy but a very scrap now. I'm a young boy but a very scrap now. I'm a young boy but a very scrap now. I'm a young boy but a very scrap now. But in 1976, I heard that in Maria Kanda is a man of God called Elisha. He is teaching the reason as to why a human being should be secured by demons. The reason is sin. The thing that kills a human being on earth is your own sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is sin. So what sin have I committed? Hallelujah. So I was in a religion. We were being taught. But once when salvation, they have gone to the east and west. But again, they are praying for me, but I'm not delivered. Hallelujah. That's why when I came here, I was told. 1976. And I was told a young man. And we are dying with the disease of our curse. Chest, asthma, and asthma. You are not able. What wrong did you do to God? Again to God. Oh, these are witches who are bewitching me. I said, no, this is no witchcraft. You are witchcraft. So the preacher told me, do you have peace with your father and mother? The Bible is saying, Oh children, honor your father and mother. That you may be blessed on earth. And stay long or live long. Whosoever cursed his father, or maybe his mother, let him die the dead. That's why you are dying because of that. So do you have peace with your father? 
Nikajisikia kule moyoni. So I felt in my heart. Yaonekana hapa nitapona. Looks like I'm going to go. Maana haya maneno haya. Because this word. Na maswali kama haya. And this question. Hakuna mganga wa kienyeji aliniuliza. There is no traditional medicine man who asked me. Wala hakuna daktari ameniuliza. There is no doctor who asked me. Wote walitimbilia kuponya haya magonjwa. All of them try to treat me. Napata heri. I'm getting some uh, some some relief. Kesho nimerudiwa. But then tomorrow they they are attacked again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hivyo nimekuja kwa Yesu hivyo. So now I have come to Jesus. Safina Yesu mwana wa Mungu. The ark is Jesus the son of Yeye God. Yeye ni safina yetu leo. He is our ark today. Hata kama unasugu gani. Even if you have any problem. Ukimtimbilia bwana Yesu. Once you run to Jesus Christ. Utapata uzima. You will get your life. Bwana Yesu ndiye njia ya kweli na uzima. He is the way the truth and life. Mimi Yeye. You believe in him. Anasema njoni kwangu. He say come to me. Usumbukao. All who are suffering. Wenye kulemewa na mizigo. And heavily burdened. Nami nitawapumzisha. And I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I came here in 1976. Ubiri akaniambia hapana. And the preacher told me no. Una amana baba yako na mama yako. You have peace your father and mother. Na ukisoma Mathayo 15:4 ine. And if you read from the book of Matthew 15:4. Anasema imeandikwa mheshimu baba na mama. This it say that it is written honor your father and mother. Na mtukanae baba yake au mama yake kufa nao. So ever curses his father or mother let him die the death. Je, una amana baba yako na mama? So you have your peace with your father and mother? So I listened to him very carefully. I had to pull my chair and said, "What are you saying, Pastor? Do you have peace where you are coming from? With your father and mother? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I said, okay, if that can kill somebody, because truly, the man that I had no peace with was my father. In those years of 1968 and 69. Amen. Amen. Nimekuwa mtoto wa kwenda shuleni. I was a boy in school. Hata kuanzia 66 huko. So from 1966, nimefikia mtoto wa kwenda shuleni. I had not come of age to go to school. Hata ningekuwa hata siri wapi huko. And I was late had not gone to school. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini mimi baba, but then my father Niingie sasa diwani nifukuzwe na karo. That I go to class 1 and I'm changed away because of school. Niingie sasa diwani nifukuzwe na karo. I'm going to class 1 I'm changed because of school. Na miaka hiyo karo ilikuwa ya pesa kidogo shilingi 15 na soma. The school fees was only 15. Hata ukipeleka mahindi cobs hii mahindi hujapukusa sijui mangapi na kwa fee pia. Even if you take there some maize it can also be taken as school fees. Lakini baba anasema kusoma hakuna maana. But then my father said going to school is just wasting time. Kwa wajinga you will be very foolish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na hapa kuna baba mdogo hapa. And again I have my uncle. Yeye ni mfanyabiashara. He is a businessman. Hakusoma. He is not learned. Anasikia uchungu hakusoma. He is very bitter that he never went to school. Ana mahesabu hayawezi. He is not able to do any calculation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na ana biashara kubwa duka kubwa. And he has a very big shop. Ameingia morali ya kusomesha watoto wake. He has now they got the morale of educating his children. Wanaenda shuleni. They are going to school. Mimi nakaa nyumbani. And I'm staying at home. Nimefukuzwa karo. I'm chased away because of school fees. Niliingia uchungu kule so, moyoni. I was so bitter in my heart. Nikasema huyu baba hana akili. And I said my father's not Yeri understanding. Mtu alifelewa kuliko mbaba yuko hai. It is better if my father had died rather than alive, being alive. And that way she knows she to be Once you have cast your father that way, you are offending God. You are saying your father has no understanding. Maana ana korosho nyingi korosho because he has a lot of cash on him hii korosho and in kilifi na baba alikuwa na mashamba mengi ya mikorosho and my father had so many farms of shamba, cash on us shamba moja tunaokota hatulimalizi kwa siku one one farm we were picking the cash on us when it could not complete tunaokota hata gunia mbili we can pick even two bags tena kuna shamba nyingine na siku tatu hamjaenda and again there's another field you have not gone to amen amen na nyingine nayo na siku nne hamjaenda and another one is also waiting you have not gone to it alafu mimi nifukuzwe karo and again i'm chased away because of this is when yeye mtu babako alikufa so i said in my heart it is better if your father had died mbe mungu alikataa ushtukane baba and father uh, god refused that wala usimwazie baba hivyo neither should you think evil of your father unapo takia baba mabaya hivyo once you are cursing your father that way wewe jilani mwenyewe that way you are cursing your own self machetani atakuja and demons will attack you yakutie kila magonjwa ya kila aina and put every type of a disease in your life na kila wa kila aina and every poverty in your life maana umetukiza Mungu because you are offending God usomee hiyo Mathayo you read for us the book of Matthew 
Because they have cast your parents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if we turn for this God, missionary huyu, God of missionary, na and this teaching, I would it would have been very long time. Hata we and you never you didn't have known so me. You read for us. The book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 4. Kwa kuwa Mungu alisema mheshimu baba yako na mama yako na mtuka naye baba yake au mama yake kufa na afe. For God commanded saying honor thy father and mother and he that curseth his father or mother let him die the death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa kuwa Mungu alisema because God commanded saying mheshimu baba yako na mama yako honor your father and mother na mtuka naye baba yake au mama yake and anybody cursing his father or mother kufa na afe let him die the death. Nikawa nimeamuriwa kufa. So I had been commanded to die. Uzima hakuna. There is no honor. Waganga wanatafuta traditional medicine me had sought. kuponya. They wanted to treat me. Kwa guliwa kuko, that is treatment utapona you will be healed kama shida hii imekuja kwa sababu ya lana but if this disease has come because of a curse amen amen kama ni kwa sababu ya lana if it is because of a curse watajaribu kila njia utaona uwezo watajaribu kila njia utaona they will try always but not be they'll not be able hallelujah hallelujah ikiwa shida hii if this problem imekuja hii has come to you kwa sababu umechukiza Mungu and it's not that you're offending God you will try all means. So I was surprised. All the physicians. But then it's not going away. But when he was taught this, I taught the preacher that it's a very true. Even now as we are talking, I have no peace with my father. I buried him long time ago. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In fact, when I hear his voice, I feel that I'm tired of him. I want even to hide. Oh, yeah. You are father, you're offended with your father. So he told me that's the reason you are dying. You said your father had no understanding. He doesn't know how to take care of the homestead. He doesn't know how to take care of his money. Amen. So that way you're casting your father. And if you think you want him to die, and the soul of your son is the soul of your father. And the blood you have is the blood of your father. Hallelujah. Even when a mother begat a child, and two fathers are complaining that this man child is my child, because all of them came to this one woman, so, so they go for DNA test. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You who did biology. I also did biology in school. I got started. I got three. Oh, those years. Amen. Amen. Biology. In biology. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cliffy Township. In Cliffy Township. I really liked it. Your biology are you? Biology subject. I was really rejoicing in that subject. I think if I never got three, I got two. Biology. That is biology. Those, that, is the that, is the that the blood of the son is the blood of the father. They are going to, for a DNA Na test. Nani ya na baba. Or there is any component inside that is resembling your father. Genetically. Genetically that is. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I was already offending You think you want him to die. Then you are killing your own son. That's why you see all the demons that are attacking you. Because you are offending the command of God. That's why all doctors have tried all they know. And the traditional medicine way. But they are not able. Because it is not an ordinary disease. It is not just brought because of germs. It is a calamity from God. And if it is a calamity from God, that's why you find all the understanding of men are God, until you come to God. You pray for forgiveness and repent that God forgive me for being offended of my father. And Jesus, Jesus came to forgive all those who erred at me. He shed the blood on the cross and he said it is now finished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the work that brought Jesus on earth. 
Nikatubu. So I repented. And I told the pastor. Hata leo, even today. I have no peace with my father. Pray for me. Aka so he prayed for me. So the chest was healed. Asima ikapona, and asthma was also healed. From 1976. Up to date I'm alive. Hallelujah. 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 Mwaka wangapi huu? So how many years am I now? Kutoka 76 mpaka sasa. From 1976 up to date. 44 years about 45 years. 44 years. Hallelujah. Yesu alikuja. Jesus came. Tuwe na uzima. We may have life. Tuwe na hotel. Have it in abundance. Ukimwamini. If you believe in him. Hallelujah. 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 Any problem coming, if it has just been brought by ordinary issues, you find that even doctors can treat it. But if it is a curse from God, you try all means, but it is until you return to God. You come to the ark, Jesus, the Son of God. Hallelujah. 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 So you read for us again that verse. Kwa kuwa Mungu alisema, Mheshimu baba yako na mama yako, na mtukanae baba yake au mama yake kufa na afe. For God commanded saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that cursed father or mother, let him die the death. Na mtukanae baba he that cursed his father. Cursing him does not, does not mean that he was foolish. A father is a honorable man. Mama na mama. God said, honor your father and mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kumambia uongo mzazi, Lying to your parents, baba au mama, your father or mother, ni that is cursing him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is telling you where he is coming from. And you are saying, I'm, I'm coming from Mary, my friend. And you are from a lodging. So you are cheating your father. You are cheating your mother. You, find, you think that he's a fool. And you are slept outside. So some crutching will come to you. When, when you go to the physicians, you can be treated. But that scratching that you have, if that is a calamity from God, because you have been cheating your father, you have been cursing your father, you didn't tell him the truth, you will try all medicine and evil remedy, but it will never go away. Until you come back to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That you sit down with the preacher. He is now the, the, the lawyer of God. And tell him this issue. Because the Bible is saying. Confess your sins. One to another and pray for one another. That you, have to you have to sit down and speak the truth. That this scratching, that I have tried all medicine, but I'm not able to be healed. Why? You have to speak the truth. Why I went to the lodgings, and in the bushes, and I, did, I committed a sin. And when my mother asked me, I said I was coming from a friend. If you cheated her, and then to God you speak the truth. The preacher pray for you. You get forgiveness from God. Utapona, utapona, utapona. And you will be healed and be healed and be healed. Hallelujah. 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 That is the secret revealed to missionaries. The founder of this child. That's why you find all chronic diseases that are being healed. Even those which are overcome the disease. If you bring them to Jesus, Jesus will heal them. Because you will be taught until you know you are saying. Why is God annoyed with you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus came to save the sinners. And once you agree that you are a sinner, then Jesus will deliver you. If you agree that you are a sinner, then Jesus saved me. I said from today, bitterness against my father and mother, whether I go to school or not, I'll never do it again. 
My father is my mama father. Mama. And my mother is my mother. Siku moja nilikatisha mamangu. So one day I made my mother to sit down. Hata kalamu yenyewe yashinda kununua. I'm unable even to buy a pen. Mpaka mama atuchukue tuende tukalimie mashamba ya hata wajomba zangu. Until my mother takes us to go and labor in somebody's field. Wajomba zangu ndugu zake mama. Oh me to go to my uncles. Mama hakuolewa hakuolewa mbali kwetu si mbali na kwao. Oh, my mother was not married from very far from her home. Ikawa kama nyumbani kwetu kuna upungufu. So if we had anything lacking at our home. Baba, mama natuchukua tuenda kulimia mashamba ya wajomba. So my mother would take us to go and labor in the fields of Mana our wajomba uncles. walikuwa ni watu wenye uwezo. Because our uncles were people with ability. Amen. Amen. Tunalimia mashamba yao. So we go labor in their farms. Alafu wanatukana wana kweli. And again the insight. Hai. Lima hapa na watoto wako hapa. Okay, clear this bush with your huyo children. Huyo. Your husband. Pesa zote za korosho zinapeleka wapi? All the money is getting from selling cash now. Where is he taking it? Wakikanyaga wanapima 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 ile kipande ya ya 100. So you find that that giving us those portions of hana kwa kufanya hivi. They are just striding like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alafu wanasema huyo mzee wako huyo, anasemaje huyo kazi yake kipata pesa? Your husband, our in-law. When he gets money, yeah, kazi yake ni munazi tu. His work is just to drink. Sisi zetu ndio zisomesha wajomba zetu. So our money is for educating your children. Maana ile mama alikuwa marengena nituma kwa wajomba na nipatia fee. Because sometimes the mother was sending me to my uncles to go and get fees. Bali tukienda kulimia mashamba yao. So when we go clear their farms, wanatukatia vipande vikubwa vikubwa. They are giving us very big portions. Kulipiza zile zingine walizonipatia kwa ajili ya kazi. That they may recover the other money that given at our school fees. Haya ulime hapa pote. So clear all this area. Wananena na mimi nawasikia. They are saying all that and I'm here. Ndio uchungu kule ndani. That's why I become so bitter in my heart. Baba gani huyu? The what type of father is this? Siku moja nikamwambia mamangu. So one day I told my mother, wewe ulikosa nini kwa wa, baba kama huyu? Why did you or what had you done that you agreed to marry this man? Kwa mwenye akili ya kutunza pesa. Why there no men to marry who had understanding? Akasema pole mwanangu. He said that sorry my father. Kanipa nini ndiye baba yenu? And why should you say that and that is your father? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama yeye akusema mengi pole. She didn't say anything. She said sorry. Pole wangu tulimie mpate kalamu. Let us do all this work that you may get pens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mimi, you. Ndio nilipozwa ndoa hapa. That's why when I was united in marriage here, mwezi mmoja tu. Only one month. Nilifanana nimeishi mwaka mzima. Look like we had lived for one year. Mwezi mmoja tu mimi na na mwana wa watu nimeozwa ndoa na mimi. We have been united in marriage. Nyumba imekauka. But then the house was so dry. Ni madeni tayari. We are very much indebted. Naingia kwa wandugu na kupa 100. I'm going to brothers borrowing 100 bob. Milango hakuna. There are no there are no doors. Lana ya kudharau baba hana akili ya kutunza pesa. Because of despising my father I had no. Hata nikapata elifu leo itaisha leo. Even if I get a thousand today I'll spend it all of it today. Missionary akanambia una nini kijana wewe. So the missionary told me the what the problem with you young boy? Baraka zangu tunazijua. We know that you are blessings. Wewe sio kulala njaa. You're not supposed to sleep hungry. Lakini nifanyeje? But then what should I do? Na akili zimeoswa. And I have no understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa kudharau baba. Because of despising Kwa my father. Kwa kutukana baba. Because of cursing my father. Lakini ufunuo huu. But this revelation. Ufunuo huu. This revelation. Aliopewa mwanzilishi. The, that was given to the founder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jamani, my dear Tukae humu. Let us be here. Tukisikiza mtumishi wa Mungu. Listen to the servant of God. Manuel Kea Mzungu. Manuel Kea Mzungu. Tuko salama kwa safina hii kwa Yesu. We are very safe in this ark of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Nikatubu. I repented. Obiru akaniombea. Preachers prayed for me. Nikapona magonjwa hayo. I was healed of those diseases. Paka nikasomea ufundi huko technical until I went to Polytechnic. Today it's called at the Technical University. Those days it was But today if you give me a hammer. Don't stay. Bana nguvu hizo nazo because the strength that I have I didn't get it from the root of human being. They are of Jesus the son of God. Leo nakaa nchi ya baridi and today can stay in a cold country nchi ya moto where it's very warm niende gidunguri i go to gidunguri niende londiani or maybe go to londiani amen amen popote mtumwa hapo kuhubiri na hubiri anyway i'm sent to one preach i go to pray bana bana yesu alikuja because jesus christ came tuwe na uzima that we may have life tuwe na utale have in abundance hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
anasema he say akusamea maovu yako that he may forgive you all your iniquities and again akuponye he may heal you ya magonjwa yako of all your diseases watu watafuti msamaha dunia leo haitafuti msamaha so the world is not looking for forgiveness tayari natafuta kuponya magonjwa ni sawa already want to be healed of a disease that's okay kwa mungu but then to god anasema kwanza he saying first akusamea maovu yako that he may forgive you all your iniquities and again he heals you ya of all your diseases Yesu alikuja and Jesus came as to samee maovu yetu that he may forgive us of all our iniquity yale tutenganisha na Mungu which had separated us from God turudi kuwa wana that we may come back to be his children mara tulichukiza Mungu because we offended God kwa kutukiza wazazi by offending our parents kwa kutukia wazazi by hating our parents kwa kutubu dhambi hiyo so through repenting those sins hallelujah hallelujah tusomee read for us yakobu 5:16 the book of james 5:16 5:16 Anasema He is saying Ungameni dhambi zenu e Confess your sins Ninyi kwa nini na kuombeana One to another and pray for one another Mutapona That you may be healed Hallelujah 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 Muhubiri akaniuliza So the preacher asked me Kijana wafa kwa nini Young man where are you dying Wataalamu wako duniani Physicians we have them in the world Waliosomea utaalamu who are now doctors wakuponya They can heal you Wewe hata uwaendee usipone And that you went to them but you are never healed Hata upewe sheria usifanye kazi ngumu Until you are given this law that you should not do any hard work Ngozi wako huo ambao umekataa kusikia wataalamu why is that your disease has refused to, to hear the physician na hao wana ujuzi wa kuponya and they have all the knowledge to treat you bwana wewe uaguliwa ni usipone but why did they treat you and you are not healed hii ni lana hii this is now a curse ulifanyaje kwa wazazi wako what did you do to your parents ulifanyaje kwa mungu what did you do to god oh nilichukia babangu oh, i hated my father hata hivi ninazungumza even now as we are talking simupende i don't love him yuko hai lakini nilimzika kitambo he's alive but then i buried him long time ago akanambia eh so the preacher said okay oh wewe You ulichukia baba hapo you hated your father ukamwazia kufa and you wanted him to die basi ndio maana wapo that's the reason you are dying sasa nifanyeje so what should i do akanambia kubali he said you agree muamini bwana yesu you believe in jesus christ kubali moyoni agree in your heart uhuzunike mungu nisamee and you should be sad that god forgive me kwa kutotia amri yako for not obeying your command damu ya yesu the blood of jesus itakusamee will forgive you na tutakuombea utapona and we're going to pray for you for your ya kutukia baba na kutukana baba na mama that cast of hating your father and cursing your father and mother nilipoombewa when i was prayed for nikaponywa i was healed hallelujah 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 leo mimi ni fundi today i'm an artisan ukilipa tofali nitalibeba if you give me a block and cut it ile karatasi niliyoambiwa ile nisifanye kazi ngumu ikararuliwa the certificate that was given that I should not do any hard work Ka Yesu, in Jesus kuna uzima tele there is life in abundance amen amen bwana yeye kwanza anakusamea dhambi yako first he forgives you of all your sins anakuponya magonjwa and again he heals you of all your, your diseases tusome you read for us ungameni dhambi zenu ninyi kwa ninyi na kuombeana mpate kupona kuomba kwake mwenye haki kwa sana akiomba kwa bidii confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much ungameni dhambi zenu confess your sins ninyi kwa ninyi one to another na kuombeana and pray for one to another mtapona you will be healed hilo ni la mungu hilo that's the word of god wewe unasema ni aibu and you are saying it's shameful haya yango hayasemeki i cannot confess my sins yes so hatakuja then jesus will never come haleluya haleluya yes waji kwa mtu jesus will never come to such a person anakuja kwa mtu asema ye kweli he's a coming to a person who speaks the truth ngameni dhambi zenu confess your sins ninyi kwa ninyi one to another na kuombeana and pray for one another mtapona you will be healed hiyo ndio safina ya yesu that is the ark of jesus christ kikimbia kwa safina hiyo if you run to that ark ya kutubu dhambi hiyo of confessing your sins na kuacha and forsaking them utakuwa salama you will be very safe haleluya haleluya hiyo ndio safina hii that is now the ark wakata kuingia ndani you are refusing to go in wasema hiyo ni aibu you are saying that is very shameful mtu kama mimi a man like me nikaseme to go and say nilifuata shemegi yangu that i went to my in law shemegi alikuja kwangu my in law came to me hiyo ni aibu that is very shameful na shetani hana 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 shemegi and the devil has no in law shetani hana baba mdogo the devil has no uncle shetani hana mama the devil has no mother shetani hana shangazi the devil has no aunt hallelujah hallelujah hana He hasn't. 
ya utakuta ametia tamaa that's why you find that hivi wanapata hata shangazi yake you can even lash your own aunt hata mwana wa shangazi yake even the, the daughter of your aunt Mungu anakuuliza God is asking you Dunia yote hii the whole world Ukuona mke wa kuvuta Haven't you seen a woman to go to shangazi, You are going to the daughter of your aunt Hata mwana wa mjomba Oh you are going to the daughter of your uncle Hallelujah 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 Basi utaenda So you will go That is now called a Bana kuna dhambi ya mauti because there is a, a sin of death dhambi zinzo za mauti And there are some sins which are not of death Hallelujah Hallelujah Umezini mahali popote pale you have committed adultery to anywhere ni dhambi itakupeleka jehanamu it is a sin that will take you to hell tena itakuletea magonjwa and again it will bring you diseases lakini ukaenda kwa wataalamu but if you go to physicians watakubambana na madawa they will treat you with some medicine utapata uzima and you get your life lakini kama ni lana but if it is a curse amen amen Ulienda mahali ambapo hapa Kanyagwe you went to a place that you're not supposed to go hata kwa mjomba even to your uncle hata kwa mwana wa mjomba even to the daughter of your uncle hata kwa shemeji even to your to in law utaona wanaagua you find that they're treating you vinazidi. but it is even more and more mwisho wakwambie wewe rudi huko nyumbani until they tell you okay go back to your home waganga wa kienyeji maybe to your traditional medicine man mpaka utakapokimbilia bwana Yesu it is until you run to Jesus Useme Christ peli, and you speak the kwa truth kwa what did you do Haleluya. Haleluya. Dunia yote hii in the whole earth paka ndugu yako until your own sibling, paka shemeji until your in-law paka mjomba until your uncle paka mwana wa mjomba oh, the daughter of your uncle Haleluya. Haleluya. paka mwana wa shangazi even the daughter of your aunt awe muke kwako to be a wife to you itapata na kujikuna irritation will come to you na haja ndogo itakuja ya, so, ya, ya damu and you will be going to short call hata ukienda kwa wataalamu kuna madawa utapewa unapona even if you go to the physician lakini kwa sababu damu zako hizi ulikaribia mtu si akumkaribie because you went to somebody that you were not supposed to go to utajua mwenyewe that's upon you mungu anasema utajua mwenyewe god is saying it's upon you utaona wanajaribu kila njia you find that you are trying all means paka uje kwa sasa but it is until you come to the ark of jesus useme ile kweli and you speak the truth ulikanyaga wapi where did you go na ulitenda nini and what did you do haleluya haleluya nasiri hii amefunuliwa missionary and this secret was revealed to missionary elisha elisha na mama mwanzilishi and the founder mother ndio siri na neno la mtumishi wa Mungu Emmanuel. That's the secret spoken by the servant of God Emmanuel Kiamzuri. Hii ndio safi na yetu. This is now our ark. Haleluya. Haleluya. Haya wewe unahubiriwa hutaki. So this preach to you but you don't like it. Lakini ukapenda. But if you can love it. Ukapenda. If you can love it. Na uamini. And you can believe. Mungu yuko anaweza hata yale sumu. God is there he is able even though yale are very shida waganga. Those who have overcome the physicians. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ukiyaleta kwa Bwana Yesu. If you bring them to Jesus. Yeye ndiye njia. He is the way. Ya kweli. The truth. Na uzima. And the life. Anasema ndio ni kwangu. He saying come to me. Mimi nikaja kwake. And I went to him. Mwaka wa 76 In 1976 here. Mwezi wa 4. In the month of April. Kulikuwa na mkutano wa Pasaka. There was an Easter crusade. Nikahubiriwa maneno haya. I was told about this thing. Nikaamini. And I believe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Nikaponywa and I was healed. Ndio leo niko hapa. That's why today I'm here. Haleluya. Haleluya. Hata wewe ukiamini. So if you can also believe. Bwana Yesu yuko. Jesus is there. Atakupa uzima. He will give you a life. Usitishike. Do not be scared. Yesu ni Bwana. Jesus is the Lord. Tena ndiye njia. And he is the way. Ya kweli na uzima. Of truth and life. Haleluya. Haleluya. Anasema He is saying kwanza first akusamehe maovu yako that he may forgive you of all Tena, your iniquities and again akuponye magonjwa that he may heal you of all your diseases safina ya yesu the ark of jesus christ haleluya haleluya wanadamu leo hawatafuti msamaha wa dhambi human beings are not looking for forgiveness from god hawatafuti they are not looking for ndio yaweza kuwa hata pigo hili limekuja duniani why is it that this calamity has come to this ark Pengine pigo hili limekuja tumtafute Mungu maybe this has come because that we should seek for God tumrudie Mungu that we should return to God tuache anasa that we should forsake all of all our pleasures tuache uovu that we should forsake all evil bwana why tumuomba Mungu asisikie kwa nini why are we praying to God but he's not hearing us tukisema vinapungua ndio vinazidi when he's saying that it's going down again it goes up kuna nini what the problem pengine Mungu anataka wanadamu wamrudie Mungu maybe god wants all human beings to go wanadamu wamrudie Mungu all human beings to go back to him waache uovu that they should forsake all the evil haleluya haleluya uweza kuona mtu you may find somebody anatia ndegeni 
He's and boarding it on a airplane. Maybe a daughter of his aunt. And they are taking an, a flight from and Nairobi and coming to with her to Mombasa. And, and that's the daughter of an uncle. And then you take her back to Nairobi. And when the parents look, ah, oh, where were you? I had gone for a weekend where? Kakamega. Oh, Kakamega. Well, yangu, to my friend who is called Mary. Kumbe, and you are taken a flight by your friend. Na si and it's not any other. Maybe a relative in the clan. Hata and you truly know that. But when the curse puts into you, the power of a curse. You are not able to, to defeat him without Jesus Christ. So you find this girl. Tomorrow is getting married. And when he gets children. Or oh, they are not properly. Amen. Amen. There are a lot of problems. Eventually you say, oh, we are bewitched. Ah, what? Oh, this witchcraft is coming Uchawe from you. Your own witchcraft is your own sin. But once you come to Jesus Christ, ye, ye, ni he is so faithful and righteous. Anasame, he will forgive of all your sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kabisa. Surely. So once we are in the ark of Jesus Christ, we are very safe. That's why when I ran to Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was taught about these things, and I believed them, and I agreed all the chronic diseases which were attacking me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I took a lot of herbs. Amen. Amen. Until I said that's all. I was taken to the physician. I had a small iron box. There were so many tablets inside the box. On Sunday, I go for an examination. From the time my father was taking me there, until now he was tired and told me my son, he held me, he held my hand and took me to the doctor. There was a doctor every weekend he was coming to his home there. At our home Pingilikani. Every weekend, he was working in Mtuapa there. But every weekend, he was coming home. So my father agreed with him. From the time I've been taken to there, until he told me, he told the doctor, when my son comes here, you treat him and give me the bill. Because they are friends. So I was not looking for my father to take me there again. On Sunday I know he has come home. I just go to him. He's giving me a packet. Filled with so many tablets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm taking them. But then at the end of the week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even before completing it. Those tablets. The disease is attacking me again. I've gone to him again. I'm waiting for him again on Sunday. Go to he him. Before finishing this package, the disease is attacking me again. There, I had a box. there were so many tablets of all types until I lifted up my hand. So when I heard in Maria there is a man called Elisha. He's teaching the hindrance of man's good is his own hymns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the time I came here, the God of the founder, for the doctrine that he was given, that can deliver human beings. Once you are able to love it, and you believe it, you will be very safe, because Jesus came, that he may save the human beings from their own sin. Hallelujah. 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 Alikuja bana Yesu. Jesus came. Kokoa wanadamu. That he may save all human beings. Na dhambi zao. From their own sin. Mungu ameangalia tumshukuru yeye. So God has been looking you are not grateful to him. Tumeponywa. We are healed. Tumepewa uzima. We have been given life. Lakini hatuna kumshukuru kama Lot. We are not we are not grateful to him like Lot. Tunamtenda dhambi tena. We are committing some sins again to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are again offended of the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Safino yetu so our ark ni bwana Yesu is Jesus Christ hata kama una jambo limeshinda lilete kwa bwana Yesu even if you have anything that has overcome people come here nikaleta langu mimi i brought mine here leo mwaniona kwa rehema za today you are seeing me through the masses of god hallelujah hallelujah ndio kinaambia so if you tell me yesu hawezi that jesus is not able i say no anafanya kazi na waaminio working with those who believe hallelujah hallelujah ndio ukitazama so if you look higo hili hili oh this pandemic wataalamu wanajaribu physicians are trying kaomba we are praying tusiondoke kwa nini then why is it not going away mimi mungu anatutaka maybe god wants tumkumbilie mungu that we run towards him kuna maovu there are some evil katikati ya wanadamu in the midst of human beings kuna maasi there are so many evil katikati ya wanadamu in the midst of human beings kuna ubaya there is evil katikati ya wanadamu in all human beings mungu anataka tumrudie mungu that god wants us to run to him atuokoe na garika hii that he may save us from all this Haleluya. Haleluya. Kila mtu moyoni aseme uovu ni basi. Should say that I'm not going to do any evil. Alia acha mkewe. Usoeva is forsaken his wife. Aache uovu huo. That he should leave that evil. Arudi kwa mkewe. That he should go back to his wife. Haleluya. Haleluya. Aliyeiba mke wa mtu and anybody has stolen somebody's wife. Aache uovu huo. To forsake that evil. Amrudie Mungu. And return to God. Haleluya. Haleluya. Aliyeshikarafiki Anybody has a friend? Mume wa mwenzake. Somebody's husband. Acha ubaya huo. You should forsake that evil. Adumu kwa mume wewe. And be permanent with your husband. Tukamrudia Mungu yaonekana. If we can return to God. Mungu anaweza kutusalimisha dunia hii. God can rescue this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana ukisoma Zaburi, because if you read from the book of Psalms. Zaburi, the book of Psalms. Mia na tatu. 103. Mstari wa tatu. Verse 3 Anasema he is saying akusamea maovu yako that he forgives you of all your tena, and again akuponye magonjwa yako that he may heal you of all your diseases kwanza akusamea maovu yako first he forgives you of all your iniquities alafu akuponya magonjwa and again he heals you of all your diseases haleluya haleluya ndio nataka tusome na maandiko sije ukasema mhubiri anaongea That's why I want you to read the scripture or let you say the preachers that's Zaburi okay. na tatu, The book of Psalms 103 mstari wa 3 verse 3 Naona ni hapo hapo Akusamehe maovu yako yote akuponye magonjwa yako yote Who forgiveth all thine iniquities who healeth all thy diseases Akusamehe maovu yako yote. That he may forgive you of all your iniquities. Alafu akuponya magonjwa. And then he heals you of all your yako diseases. Yote. Of all your diseases. Kwanza akusamehe maovu yako. First he forgives you of all your iniquities. Alafu anakuponya magonjwa. And then he heals you of all your diseases. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wanadamu hawatafuti msamaha. But human beings are not looking for forgiveness. Utasamehe waje dhambi zako. How will you be forgiven of all Bana your sins? Bwana Yesu alikuja. Jesus came kuokoa watu na dhambi zao to save people with their sins alimwaga damu msalabani he shed the blood on the cross akasema imekwisha and he said it is finished damu ya yesu the blood of jesus inaondoa dhambi yote remove all the sins hata ile nyekundu ile even if they are red hata kama ulifanya nini even if you did anything ukija kwa bwana yesu once you come to jesus christ ukisema ile kweli yako and you speak your truth bele za watu wa Mungu before the people of God wakikuombea and when they pray for you wanaweza wanakusamea Jesus will forgive you hata kama kuna sugu namna gani and even if there is anything chronic shetani akiamuriwa kwa jina la Yesu if the devil is commanded in the name of Jesus yule aleleta TB sugu the one was brought that tuberculosis that is chronic asthma ya uchungu wa rohoni and asthma because of bitterness in your heart anasema atakuponya magonjwa yote he says not to heal you of all your diseases akikusamehe dhambi once has forgiven you of all your iniquity ndio mimi nilipokuja hapa that's why when i came here mungu aliponivuta kuja when god drew me to come nikamwamini bwana yesu mwanawe i believe that jesus christ is son kusikiza mwanzilishi mtumishi wa mungu by listening to the servant of god the founder nikajaliwa kuamini i was unable to believe nikajaliwa kupenda i was unable to love nikafurahia and i rejoice sikusema ni aibu i didn't say it's shameful moyo nilisema in my heart i said kusema tu that's confessing itasema yote i'm going to confess all kama hiyo ndio njia ya kusamehewa because that is the way i can get my forgiveness na kuponywa and get my healing 
Sitaficha dhambi zangu. I'm not going to hide my sins. Sitaungama Yesu anisamea aniponye. I'm going to confess that Jesus may forgive me and heal me. Haleluya. Haleluya. Nikawa nikihubiriwa. So whenever I was being preached, nikiona dhambi yangu. And if I see any sin, Haleluya. Haleluya. Nataka muhubiri yuko wapi? I'm looking for a preacher. Where is Kete he? Hapa nikwambie mambo yangu. Sit down here that I may confess Yali my sins. Yale ficha mama. Oh that I hid my mother. Na baba and my father. Ndugu zangu. And my siblings. Lakini Mungu anasema, God is saying, ungameni ninyi kwa nini napombea? Confess one to another and pray for one another. Utaponywa and you will be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tukakimbilia safina hii. So I ran to that ark. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nikapony and I got healed. Ana Yesu ndiye njia because Jesus is the way. Na kweli and the truth. Na uzima and the life. Ajaye kwangu whoever comes to him anasema he say atatahayarika. He may never be ashamed. Why bike? That he may be ashamed. Na umeamini la Mungu. And you have believed the word of God. Umesema ile kweli. You have spoken the whole truth. Anasema he is saying usomee tena. You refer us again. Akusamehe. Na he may forgive you. Maovu yako yote. All your iniquities. Kisha akuponye. And again he heals you. Magonjwa yako all yote. All your diseases. Akusamehe kwanza. Na he may forgive you first. Wengi hawatafuti msamaha wazangu. But many are not looking for this forgiveness from the Lord. Usomee. You refer us. Akusamehe maovu yako yote ponya magonjwa yako yote who forgiveth all thine iniquities who healeth all thy sins or diseases haleluya haleluya akusamee maovu yako yote he forgives you of all your iniquities kisha and again akuponye magonjwa yako he heals you yote of all your diseases haleluya haleluya yote all your diseases Nilipi kwako limebaki? Then what is remaining with you? Mamini bwana Yesu. Believe in Jesus Christ. Asubuhi ya leo. This morning. Hata kama pepo anakuambia leo ni aibu. Even if the demon is selling this same food. Wahubiri wao wanashinda humu kuanzia Jumatatu. Or preachers are all here the whole day from Monday. Leo ni siku fupi. Today we have a very short time. Wako humu. But they are here. Jumatatu. On Monday. Paka Jumamosi jioni. Up Saturday evening. Wako humu humu. They are here within. Kuna maneno yako yameshinda. You have your own wishes as you overcome you. Bana Yesu. You bring them to Jesus Christ. Anasema wawili mkipatana duniani. He says if two agree on earth. Mkiungama. Once you confess. Mimi ni mwaminifu na wahaki. I'm so faithful and righteous. Na waondolea dhambi yote. I will remove all our sins. Hallelujah. 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 Akusamehe maovu yako. That he may forgive you of all your iniquities. Kisha akuponye na magonjwa. And again yako. he heals you of all your diseases. Nikakaa chini na pastor. So I sat down with the pastor. Namwambia mimi. And I told him. Paka hivi inavyozungumza hivi. Even now as we are talking. Baba nilimuzika kitambo. I buried my father a long time ago. Mimi nilijiona siku moja nimekaa. I found myself seated one day. Nimechimba kaburi. I had dug a grave. Na nimeweka baba yangu. And I put my father inside the grave. Nieri tukae bila baba. Let us be with our father. Yuko hai? He's alive. Lakini roho wangu nimemzika. But in my heart I buried him. Nikawa nafa na TB. That's why I was dying because of tuberculosis. Na asthma zalana. And asthma because of that cast. Nimeshinda vidonge vyote. I had taken all the remedies. Nilipokuja kwa safina ya Yesu. But when I came to the ark of Jesus Christ. Nikafundishwa na watu wa Mungu. I was told by the people of God. Nikakaa chini. I sat down. Nikasema kama ni uchungu na wazazi. And I said if it is bitterness against my parents. Mimi ndio nilivyo roho wangu sina amani. That's exactly how I am in my heart of no peace. Wakaniambia ndio unakufa. They told me that the reason you are dying. Sasa nifanyeje? So what should I do? Wakaniambia mwamini bwana Yesu. They say believe in Jesus Christ. Yesu ndiye alimwaga damu. Jesus is the one who shed his blood. Hili wanadamu wapate msamaha. A human being should get forgiven. Hati hati yeye alifuta pande za sababu. The certificate of accusation was broken at the cross. Akaibomba katika mwili wake. And he took it on his body. Na akapigwa. And he was smitten. Kwa kupigwa kwake tupone. And through his beatings we are healed. Adhabu ya amani yetu. Oh the The certificate of accusation was put upon him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, okay. Adabu yangu. So, adabu ya my punishment, the punishment zangu, that my sins. He took them. He was made dismayed. And he was ashamed. That I should get honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tambiwa ndio. He was told yes. Nikakubali. I accept. Nikasema kutoka leo. And I said beginning today. Nitasoma. I'm going to school. Nitasoma. Whether not go to school? Baba ni baba. But my father is my father. Hayuko tena duniani. He's no longer in the world. Lakini but aliondoka nikiwa nimemwamini bwana Yesu. He left when I had believed in Jesus Christ. Kwa sababu Yesu aliishi baada ya kumwamini bwana Yesu. For the few days that he lived when I had believed in Jesus Christ. Nilijifunza kumpenda. I learned to love him. Hata leo mimi hukumbuka. Even I remember sometimes. Nikasema kama mtu anaweza kuwa reversible. 
arudi and say if, if that can be rewinded, I don't know how much I would love my Bado father. Leo, still when an elder and if I say, I still say, God forgive me. The bitterness against my father. And even today, I kneel down and pray that. And I continue repenting even today. So even you don't faint. What do you have so difficult? What so difficult has overcome you? All those have that overcome. And that is overcome by all the remedies. You bring it to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring it to Jesus. Jesus is the ultimate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the way kweli, and truth nauzima. and life Kwa to those who believe in him. Salama, so we are very safe if we are in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uko salama. We are very safe. Ujisikie uko salama. We should feel that we are very safe ukiwa ndani ya Bwana Yesu. Why are you in Jesus Christ? Bwana Yesu ndani yako. And Jesus in you. Bwana Bwana Yesu anasema because Jesus is saying. Yeye mkikaa ndani yangu. If you abide in me. Na maneno yangu ikaa ndani yenu. And was abide in you. Ombe lolote mtakalo. Pray for anything you want you get it. Baba wa mbinguni atatimiza. I may have any father to it. If you abide in me, Daniel la Mungu linasema heshima baba na mama. The inside the word of God that says honor your father. Abide in that word. Na hilo neno likae ndani yako. I may that word abide in you. Amen. Amen. Utembee kwa hilo. And you walk by that word. Ulikuwa ukimchukia umhesabu bora. You used to hate him, you don't esteem him better. Leo umhesabu bora. But today you esteem him better. Umheshimu. And honor him. Umtambue. Recognize him. Oh, neno la Mungu liko ndani yako. Oh, the word of God is abiding in you. Na wewe uko ndani ya neno la Mungu. And you are also abiding in the word of God. Kule kwa ndani ya neno la Mungu. So being abiding the word of God. Yake walitimiza, walitia kwa matendo kwa That sasa. means you are fulfilling it and putting it to action. Na kule kwa la Yesu likae ndani yako. And if the word of God is in the mind of Yesu unaitimiza iko ndani ya moyo wako. That means you are fulfilling the law of Jesus because it is in your heart. Amen. Amen. Kwa sababu iko ndani yako. And because it is in your heart. Unatoa you kuitimiza sasa. You are given to fulfill it now. Maana kimtoka cho mtu kinatoka moyoni mwake. Because whatever comes from your heart is coming from Kwanza your heart. Kwanza uiamini sheria yake. Because you believed in his law. Kwa kwamba Mungu anasema niheshimu baba na mama. You believe that God is saying honor your father and mother. Hiyo sheria uiamini. So you believe in that law. Uipende and you love it. Utapewa nguvu kuitimiza. So you will be given strength sasa, to fulfill it. Yes, yuko ndani yako. So Jesus in you. Na maneno ya Yesu yako ndani yako. And the words of Jesus are in you. Na 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 uko ndani ya neno lako. And you are also inside the word of Jesus. Ukikaa ndani yangu, if you abide in me, na maneno yangu yakaa ndani yenu. And my words abide in you. Ukaa ndani ya Yesu, abiding in Jesus. Simiza lako. He's fulfilling his word. Kwa matendo. Putting it into action. Si kule kulijua tu anasema anasema. Not just knowing it that he kule said this and that. Na kulitia kwa matendo. But fulfilling the word and putting it into action. Ulikuwa tukia jirani leo mpende. You are hating your neighbor today you love him. Uko ndani ya bwana Yesu. So you are inside the word of Jesus. Yesu and Jesus is also new. Anasema haya omba sasa. He says now okay now pray. Omba lolote utakalo. Pray for anything you want. Ili baba atukuzwe. So that my father can be glorified. Ndani ya mwana inside the sun leo anatukuzwa today is glorified mama yuko paka leo my mother still alive even today yeye anapiga makofi she is also clapping alisema mwanangu he said my son hata leo wewe umenzalia wajukulu even today you are bringing me grandchildren alikuwa hatuna imani kwamba hata utakujaoa uzae and we had no faith that you come and marry nilikuwa tu angoja tukutimbie kaburi tukuzike we were waiting to just to bury you lakini huyo mungu wako uliyompata huko mariakani but then the god that you got from mariakani hata leo mimi naitwa nyanya and today you are married and i'm called ah, a grandmother mimi nami naokoka i'm also coming to the salvation ana imani kwa mungu she has great faith in god Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amezeka yuko mama. Lakini she's very aged but there. Yeye akipiga simu niombe. When she makes a call hey, pray for me. Ukimwomba anasema nimepona. When you pray for her she says okay I'm here. Hey. Okay you are here. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uko humu. We are here. Upende. You love. Usiwe humu kwa kulazimishwa. Do not be here by four. Tuna uhuru wa kuabudu. We have the freedom of worship. Wada kuabudu chini ya miti. So if you want to worship under the tree, ni katika mapango, or maybe in caves. Utaruka uende Ulaya. Or maybe fly go to Abraham. Na mhubiri Yesu anaweza. Amen. Amen. Hilo ni lako hilo. That is upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
kabisa surely yes anasema jesus is saying alikuja kuokoa watu wake he came to save his people wale wao those who believe in him kama wewe umwamini wewe if you don't believe him aenda utakako okay go anywhere you want mimi nilikuwa huko mimi but i was already there leo ni mwaka wa 45 today this is my 45th year tb ilipona ya uchungu wa rohoni tuberculosis was healed of bitterness and asthma and asthma ilikuwa inanuzia kulala kwa amani that was stopping me from getting some sound sleep haleluya haleluya leo kunyeshimbua today if it rains kuwe baridi or maybe it's cold kuwe moto whether it's hot niende nchi ya baridi kabisa cold country kwanza leo mazingira ninayoyapenda mimi in fact today the environment that i enjoy very much yeah, 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 where, where i have an air conditioner haleluya haleluya niweka mahali pa joto hata nasumbuka if you put me at a hot place if i'm in trouble kupepea kabisa but where there is a lot of coldness nasikia amani kabisa that's the place again my peace maana bwana yesu alikuja because jesus came tuwe na uzima that we may have life tuwe na hotel that we may have in abundance uchungu wa rohoni bitterness in my heart bwana akaniokoa jesus saved me from aka uondoa and he removed it baba yangu upon my father juu ya majirani upon my neighbor yesu alisema and jesus said amtukie jirani yake so ever hates his neighbor ni muongo is a liar ni muuaji is a killer tulipewa neno we are given the word kupendana loving one another hallelujah hallelujah mbali tutakaya na vita nalo Now that is the thing that devil is fighting against. Amani na watu. Peace with all men. Hiyo ndio uzima wa mwanadamu. That is the life of human. Ile amani, peace. Without peace. Na watu wote. Peace with all men. Ndio uzima wa roho. That is the life. Lakini roho imejaa vita. But then you are having feelings. Wasema watu wamekuroga. Some people are bewitching you. Watu sikizi wanaopendelewa. Oh, people these days are fake. Roho yako haina amani wewe. Your heart has no peace. Umejaa vita. You are filled with woe. Acha tena unatafuta mtu kama huyo. So the demons are looking for such a person. Yule mwenye uchungu wa roho ni yule. A person who has bitter and Ana amani na jirani yule. He has no peace with his neighbor. Amejaa kunungunika na kulaumu. Filled with murmuring and blaming. Yule mashetani wanakuja. That's the time the demons will come. Wanatia hapo ndani asthma. And put inside you asthma. Na kila mapigo hapo every calamity maana wewe upendi mwanadamu wenzako because you don't love your fellow human being anayepumua kama wewe who is anayepumua kama wewe breathing like you wataka afe you want him to die nataka kumuona you don't want to see him mwanadamu wenzako a fellow human being nachukiza mungu you offending god mungu alisema tupendane god said we should love one another haleluya haleluya tupendana if we love one another tumetimiza sheria we are fulfilling the law sasa tufanyeje so what should we do Lutu Lord akamtolea Mungu dhabihu za kusukuma gave to God a bank sacrifice Leo pigo lije na lisiondoke And why today we have a pandemic that's not going away Sisi tumeokolewa We are delivered Sasa kwa hatumtolee Mungu shukrani Maybe we are not giving to God thanksgiving sacrifice Haleluya Haleluya Hatuna kupenda We don't love Maana Mungu anafanya kazi na wapendao Because God is working with those who love Haleluya Haleluya So when this is sasa wakanisani kwanza So let us begin we are tumeokolewa We are, are we tumeona saved? ishara za kuponywa magonjwa hayo Je tunamtolea Mungu dhabihu za kushukuru so Are we offering to God a thanksgiving sacrifice Au leo tumebarikiwa Or maybe today we are blessed Tena tunaendea anasa And again we are going to pleasure to the Bana, world Bana Yesu siku moja Because Jesus one day alikuta rafiki He met a friend amemponya He had healed him Akaingia kanisani akamkuta humo And he went to the church and found him there. Akamwambia ni wewe. And he told him you are the one. Haleluya. Haleluya. Uliyekuwa pale birikani. Who was at the pool? Uwezi kila kitu. You are not able to do anything. Umepona. You are now healed. Akasema he. He said yes. Turudie dhambi tena. He said no go back to sin again. Sije ukapata na makubwa kama. Unless some bigger thing may come upon you. Sasa kwa tumerudia dhambi ni. So maybe we have gone back to sin. Kuna tujae hofu tena. Why are we filled with fear? Tusiwe na uhuru wa kuabudu. That we should not have no freedom of worshiping. Haleluya. Haleluya. Dunia wasiwasi kila mahali. The world is not wired everywhere. Tumechukiza Mungu wapi? We are offending God. Where have we offended God? Haleluya. Haleluya. Tusomee twende kumaliza. Read for us how we may wind up. Tusomee Johana 5:14. The book of John chapter 5 verse 14 Umeponywa you are healed kama mimi nilivyoponywa like the way I was healed lakini ananiambia rimba but again he's telling me rimba umekuwa mzima wewe you are now have you are healed usirudie dhambi tena you go back to sin again kuwa na uchungu na yule being bitter with that one kuwa na uchungu na yule being bitter with that one upende watu sana you should love people now hallelujah hallelujah upende watu you should love people si baba tu mheshimu not only your father you honor him upende watu you should all love all people umekuwa mzima you are now made whole acha uchungu na watu do not be bitter with people nikashikwa na magonjwa so disease came to me yakasende of syphilis viungo havina amani my limbs are no peace kienda haja sina amani when i go to live have no peace 
Nala, I'm eating. Na kwa siku tatu hakuna haja. I stay for even three days without leaving myself. Kwa sababu ya dhambi za dalana. Because of the sins of calf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uko ujanani utotoni huko. And may youth age there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini kwa kufundishwa, but through being told, na kuhubiriwa, I'm being preached to. Bwana akaanjalia kutubu. The Lord enabled me to repent. Rema zake zikaja. And his masters came. Akaanambia wewe kule mtaani. And he told me in the village. Na kule utotoni kule. And when you were still young. Ulicheza. You were playing. Katoto katoto. He. You were playing those children games. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ulifanya nini? What did you do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I used to say I was just a child. We had not known anything. So from there did you tell your father or mother? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You had not known anything. So from there did you tell your father or mother? What you had done in those small huts. And your siblings. From one homestead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nikapata na ugonjwa mwingine. So another disease came upon me. Ndugu mmoja ana furaha na kuwa mkubwa. One brother was swelling becoming big. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana mwanadamu wa kiume ana ndugu wawili huko chini. Because a human being or all men have two brothers down. Mmoja ana kuwa mkubwa, ana kuwa mkubwa, ana kuwa big and big. Nikaendea mhubiri. So I went the preacher. Nilikuwa karibu niwaambie baba nipeleke huko Tanzania. I was almost told my father take me Lakini nipo kujua hapa nikafundishwa. But when I came here I was told. Kaambi ya pasta ndugu mmoja hataki kukaa kwa suru wale kwa nini? I told the pastor that one brother does not want to be in the party. He said kete hapo. You sit down here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kete hapo useme kweli. You sit down here and speak the truth. Kweli ya kule. The truth from there. Amen. Amen. Kule kulinda mpunga kule mashambani. When you are taking care of the wheat there. You speak the truth. Nikasema yeah. kweli yangu. And I spoke all my truth. Nikaombewa. I was prayed for. Nikapona kwa jina la Yesu. I got oh. healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Ule uvimbo ukaondoka bwi kwa jina la Bwana Yesu. Went away in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah. Yesu alikuja. Jesus came. Tuwe na uzima. That we may have life. Tuwe na hotel. And that we may have it in a bottle. Leo ananiambia ananiambia Leo ananiambia bwana Yesu. Today Jesus is telling me, rimba umepona. Rimba you are now healed. Usirudie dhambi tena. Do not go back to sin again. Sije ukapata na kubwa zaidi. Or less a bigger thing may come upon you. Tusome. You read for us. Johana 5:14. John 5 verse 14. Baada ya hayo, Yesu akamkuta ndani ya hekalu. Akamwambia, angalia umekuwa mzima, usitende dhambi tena. Lisije likakupata jambo lililo baya zaidi. Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him Behold thou art made whole see no more lest a worse thing come unto thee Tuliona nguvu za Mungu zikutuponya So we saw the power of God healing us zikutuokoa or delivering us kusikiliza mwanzilishi na wahubiri wake I listened the found and his preacher Leo dhiki ije But today we have tribulation was, again ingie, and worries may come in Amen Amen Yale tuaminiwa yanaponya leo yasipone Today those things we believe that they could be hid they're not Nini, being hid Then why the reason Nirudia dhambi You've gone back to sin Hallelujah Hallelujah Akaambiwa rafiki He was told my friend Umekuwa mzima You have been made whole Chunga. Be careful. Usirudie tena dhambi. Should not go back to sin. Mtu baada ya kuamini Bwana Yesu, after believing Jesus Christ, na kuponywa and you getting healed, na kushiriki nguvu za Mungu, and you partaking in the power of God. Bwana Yesu anakuonya na anionya mimi pia. Now Jesus is warning you and warning me also. Wewe uliye ndani ya hekalu leo, you who is inside the temple today. Anakwambia rafiki umekuwa mzima. He's telling you my friend you have been made whole. Hata leo asthma haiko tena. Even today there's no asthma. Usirudie dhambi tena. Do not go back to sin. Kuwa na uchungu. Being bitter. Si baba yako tu. Not your father. Na jirani yako. Or even your neighbor. Na mkeo. You are wife. Na jirani. And a neighbor. Kazini kwako. You are friend to you. Heshima kubwa. Honoring the big ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sije ukapata na makubwa zaidi. All less the worst thing may come upon you. Na wewe leo. And you also. Kristo uliona nguvu za Mungu. You are Christian who saw the power of God. Leo kuje jambo. But today something comes. Uone waomba. You find that you are praying. Aliokoki. And it's not getting delivered. Uliokoka. You are delivered. Ukaponywa masikini walala. And you are healed of all your poverty of a car. Kazi ulikuwa ukifanya hazina mafanikio. And the work you are doing had no success. Biashara yako ukaona inaendelea. The business you are doing was not progressing. Leo today kilio kije sasa a cry now comes ni ukavu ni kutofanikiwa some dryness lack of success 
Yes, Maybe I have gone back to sin. Amen. Amen. Uliona baraka ulifundishwa nini? You saw the blessing. What have you been taught about? Ulifundishwa? You were taught. Kumtolea Mungu zaka na dhabihu. Giving to God a tithe and sacrifice. Leo njia zisiwe na mafanikio tena. But today your ways are not successful anymore. Umerudia dhambi. You have gone back to sin. Hili la Mungu hili, the word of God, nalosema lile la kamili, which says you tithe to God. Galani mwangu, in my storehouse. Umerudi upendi tena. You have come now you don't love it anymore. Haleluya. Haleluya. Upendi tena. You don't love it anymore. Maana Yesu ni yeye yule jana. Because Jesus is the same yesterday. Na leo na hata milele. And today and forever. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bona leo tena, then why is it that kutofanikiwa kuje? The lack of success come. Umeacha kumtolea Mungu dhabihu za kushukuru. You are no longer giving to God the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Leo today kumtumikii kwa furaha tena. You are not serving him with joy anymore. Umerudia dhambi. You have gone back to sin. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ulikuja humo, you came here, ukaongozwa, you were guided, hata ukapona, until you are healed, asende za damu, all the sickness of blood, na kuwashwa, and irritations, tumbo lina amani, your stomach has no peace. Leo kuzuke kitu tena, today something springs up, kikutatize, that can give you trouble, hata ujaye wasiwasi, until you are feeling worries, angalia umerudia dhambi. Now look, have you gone back to sin? Haleluya. Haleluya. Una mawazo gani moyoni mwako? What thoughts do you have in your heart? Maybe the joy of your husband is not you. In fact, you are regretting. You are saying that had I been married by that one whom my mother refused, maybe you will be living peacefully. You have your husband really, but then he is not in your house. In your heart. You are thinking of another one. And the sin is not the action. Sin is the thought. Jesus said. It is written to not commit adultery. But anyone who looks at a woman lastfully. Has already committed the sin in his heart. And you are saying where did you see me? And you are saying where did you see me? This is your heart. This your heart. In your heart you already see. Why are you regretting the husband who married you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio maana waona shetani anakuja sasa. You find that the demon is coming to you. vitu tumboni. He's putting things in your stomach. Anatia vitu mwilini. And putting things in your body. Haleluya. Haleluya. Maana wamerudia dhambi. Because I've gone back to sin. Ulio uongozo ulio uungama which you committed. Ya zina of adultery lakini wajivunia hujakanyaga huko but then you are proud that you have not gone there ukisoma matayo when you read the book of matthew tano anasema the chapter 5 we say imeandikwa msizini it is written to not commit adultery lakini amtazamaye mwanamke au mwanamume kwa kumtamani but anyone who looks at a man or a woman lustfully ameshatenda moyoni mwake has already committed the sin in his heart haleluya haleluya Umerudia dhambi. So you have gone back to sin. Ndio bwana Yesu akamfuata yule rafiki akamwambia, That's why Jesus went to that friend and told him, Rafiki umekuwa mzima, My friend has been made whole. Chunga. Be cautious. Usirudie dhambi tena. Let's not go back to sin again. Usije ukapatwa na makubwa zaidi. Or less a worse thing may come upon you. Haleluya. 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 What tuliokuwa na imani? People had great faith. Ya hata kujelipi. Whatever may come. Tunaamini Yesu wa mwanzishi ni bwana. You believe that the Jesus of the founder is the Lord. Leo mbona wasiwasi huko? But today why do we have a lot of worry? It's because I've gone back to sin. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tusomee hapo tena. You read for us again. Akasema rafiki, he said friend, umekuwa mzima, you have been made whole. Usirudie dhambi tena. Do not go back to sin again. Sio kapata na makubwa tena. Unless the worst thing come upon you. Lutu Lot alipojua amepona when he saw that he had been healed akurudia dhambi ya ugumu he never went back to the sin of meanness akamtolea Mungu dhabihu za kushukuru he gave to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving yes bado ni wa baraka and Jesus can see bless bado ni wa kuponya he can see him bado ni wa kuokoa he can see deliver leo maskini urudi kwa vipi then why the power to come back to uliona baraka so the blessing ulipokuwa unafurahia when you are rejoicing kumtolea Mungu in giving to God kwa furaha with a lot of joy kwa kupenda and with a lot of love kaona baraka pale and you saw the blessings there biashara zinaenda vizuri and business is going well unajenga makanisa you are building churches natoa zaka na sadaka you are giving tithes and offerings na uli za wahubiri waende kuhubiri injili and fair preachers for them to complete the gospel leo huoni njia za fanikiwa tena but today your ways are no longer successful you have gone back to sin leo today this way huifanyi kwa kupenda tena you don't do it again with maana Mungu anafanya kazi na wapendao because god is working with those who love upendi tena you no longer love amen amen hata watu wa kweli even now you are giving but not through love si kwa furaha no with joy 
Umerudia dhambi. You come back to sin. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tusamee hapa. You read for us that. Alafu tumalize na uh, Warumi 8:28. And then we go back to the book of Romans 8:28. Baada ya hayo, Yesu akamkuta ndani ya hekalu, akamwambia, "Angalia umekuwa mzima, usitende dhambi tena. Nisije nikakupata jambo lililo baya zaidi." Afterward Jesus found him in the temple and said unto him, "Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon thee." Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Umerudi umeanza uchungu na jirani. You have become now bitter against your neighbors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unachuki na mtu, you are hating somebody, hata ukimwona roho inawaka. And when you see him your heart is burning. Mungu anasema sameheni. And God is saying forgive. Nani mtasamehewa? And you shall also be forgiven. Una ndugu hata ukimwona unajihadhari naye There is a man when you see him you are so cautious with him Kujisikia uko salamu ukiwa katikati na yeye You don't feel you are safe when you are together with Ali him Alikukosa mwaka jana mwaka juzi You friend you last year the year before last year Kujasamee But they're not forgiving him Ishaka yatoka wapi Where is this worry coming from Oh wasiwasi watoka wapi Where is this worry coming from Kuonyesha mtu huyu This is to show that this man has not forgiven him Amen Amen Hapa ndani kuna uhadui hapa In your heart of enmity Ndio utaona That's why you find Diki hayondoki. Tribulation never going away. Maana kinasema because it says Samehe nanyi mtasamehewa. Forgive and shall also be forgiven. Atiye nanyi mtetelewa. You pardon and shall also be pardoned. Haleluya. Haleluya. Sameheni, you forgive. Nanyi mtasamehewa. And you shall also be forgiven. Atilieni, you pardon. Nanyi mtaachiliwa. And you shall also be pardoned. Kule kuponywa ni kuachiliwa. So the healing means you are pardoned. Kule kubarikiwa ni kuachiliwa. To be blessed means Mana you are pardoned. Maana wewe nao umeachilia chako. Because you have also pardoned something. Kimefaa mwingine. You have given your property to another person. Na wewe nao mwingine naye. And another one also. Ataongozwa. Will also be commanded. Na yeye naye akusamee chake nacho kiwe to give you his and also also give you his property haleluya haleluya lakini neno hili hili but this word ulilifuata which you are doing nikakubariki and you bless it ukaona baraka and you saw the blessing ulipopokea kwa furaha when you received it with joy injili hii this trip hii injili this gospel aliyopewa mwanzilishi was given to the founder ulipokea kwa furaha you received it with joy kwa mungu kwa furaha and you served god with joy kwa kupenda and with love haleluya haleluya Leo but today mbona vileo vije why do we have a lot of crime ya kutokuwa na kitu of na having nothing ya umaskini of poverty ya magonjwa sio sikia jina la Yesu diseases we don't hear the word of Jesus Christ we are done we have gone back to sin amen amen haleluya haleluya hata wafanya even though you are doing hata wachekea ndugu if you are laughing with that lakini hapa mdomoni but just from your mouth but not from your heart hapa moyoni una uhadui in your heart of enmity lakini kwa kinywa hiki but from your mouth wasema nina amani you send you have peace na hapa moyoni and in your heart mungu anaangalia moyo wa mwanadamu god is looking at the heart of a human being alisema he say ninyi mkiwasamee watu makosa yao if you forgive people their error na mimi nitawasamea ninyi makosa and i will also forgive you all your transgression haleluya haleluya Haleluya. Haleluya. Ndio maana unaweza kuona hukumu zinakuja katikati ya watu wao. That's why you may find some judgment coming upon the people here. Haya watakao ombea duniani akana nani? Then who are going to pray for the world? Ikiwa sisi tulio kubali Yesu kuwa bwana. If we who accept Jesus Christ. Leo tumejaa wasiwasi. Today we are free the world. Dunia itahubiriwa na nani? Then who will pray the world? Na itaombewa na nani? And who will pray for the world? Haleluya. 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 Because we no longer love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akasema rafiki, he said friend, ni wewe aliyokutapani birikani he. You're the one who I met at the pool, yes. Rimba. 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 Ni wewe aliyokuta kule, you are the one who I met. Umejaa asthma na TB, asthma and tuberculosis. Na kasoni za lana and all syphilis. Unakaa siku tatu uendi haja. You are staying three days without leaving. Ukienda ni damu mateso. When you go there it's true. Leo umekuwa mzima. Today you have been made whole. Do not go back to sin again. Ananiambia hivyo. He's telling me. Amen. Amen. Nami ninamuomba Mungu wa mwanzilishi. And I'm praying to the God of the founder. Ndani ya mtumishi wake Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. In the servant of God Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Anisaidie. That he should assist me. Nisirudie tena. That I should not go back to sin. Niendelee kuwa salama. That I should continue being saved. Amen. Amen. Maana mjua tuko safarini because you know that we are traveling. Safari ya kwenda mbinguni. Traveling towards heaven. Hatujui saa wala wakati. You don't know the time or the hour. Manada mwanawada mtakuja. That the son of man will come. Tupende Mungu. So let us love God. Mtumikie kwa furaha. And love him. Serve him with joy. Wakupenda. And love him. Maana yeye anafanya kazi na wale wapenda. Because he's working together with those who love. Somae tumalize. Let us read from the book Warumi of Romans. Warumi 8:28. Romans 8:28. Hallelujah. 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 
kabisa surely nasi tujua ya kuwa katika mambo yote Mungu hufanya kazi pamoja na wale wampendao katika kuwapatia mema yani wale walioitwa kwa kusudi lake and we know that all things work together for good to them that love god to them who accord according to his purpose haleluya haleluya nasi tujua and we know that Mungu hufanya kazi god works na wale wapendao together with those who love. Ukameni dhambi ni kwa nini na kuombeana? Confess your sins one to another, pray for another. God is working together with those. Walifuatao hilo neno kwa kupenda. Who follow that word with love. Sipakulazimika. Not that they are being forced. Una hakika hii ndio njia ya kusamehewa dhambi. You are sure that this is the way can be forgiven of my sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unavuta kiti so you, you drink a chair mbele za mhubiri before the preacher wasema ile kweli and you are speaking the truth kwa kupenda kutoka moyo with mwe. love from your heart sipa kulazimika know that you are being forced ukijua hii ndio njia knowing that this is the way ya kutakasika that i can be cleaned tena ya kuponywa again to be healed yale sugu yale ushindi all the chronic diseases that have unafanya hivyo kwa furaha you are doing that with joy sipa huzuni no the sadness hallelujah hallelujah kwa kupenda with love maana mungu anafanya kazi because god is working kwa wapenda to those who love hallelujah hallelujah why is no working again ifanane kwamba anaupendelewa why should you look like yes na Yesu Kristo ndiye yule jana and Jesus Christ is the same yesterday na leo and today na hata milele and forever hallelujah hallelujah ndio mimi tangu mwaka wa 76 that's why from the 1976 mpaka leo bado nikipiga magofu up to day i'm still kneeling clapping nilipoponywa when i was healed kifua kikuu tuberculosis kurudia tena nichukie babangu going back hurting my father hayuko is no longer there lakini yeyote aitwaye mzee ni babangu but anybody who is an elder is my father yeyote aliye na umri wa baba ni baba anybody of the age of my father is my father mungu anasema heshimu baba na mama god is saying honor your father and mother najifunza kuheshimu i'm learning to honor na kutii and to obey hallelujah hallelujah ni mwaka wa 44 this is now my fourth four year napona kwa jina la yesu i'm getting healed in the name of jesus Haleluya. 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 44. 44. Si Biblia wanasema 4 and 40 years. In the Bible they say 4 and 40 years. 4, 4 and 40 years. And 40 years. <laughs> Haleluya. Haleluya. Si zuiliwi kwenda popote pale. Nobody is stopping me from going anywhere. Kwa kutafuta msaada that I can be assisted kwa hiari ya mtu on my own willingness haleluya haleluya maana mdomo wangu huu because my mouth ulikula mizizi ate a lot of hurt na vidonge hata nikasikia utungu and tablet until i became bitter yesu kristo now jesus christ the alirehemu mimi is the one who gave me mercy kwa kusikiza mafundisho by listening to the teaching mungu akanijalia kupenda god enabled me to love nikasema kama nikufa and said if we die nife katikati ya watu wa mungu hawa let me die in the midst of the people of god wanizike wao that they bury me lakini kurudi kule kwa dhambi tena going back to sin again bwana akanijalia kupenda the lord enabled me to love mungu wa missionary huyu god of missionary nikapenda neno kuunga madhambi na kuacha confessing my sins and forsaking them nikaat nikakataa aibu and i refused all shame bwana yesu akaniponya and jesus healed me akaniponya he healed me na naomba mungu azidi kunipa kupenda and i'm praying to god to continue giving me love ndio shetani anatuenda anatuinda that's why the devil is hunting for na kutukizwa that we may become bitter and hurt kimbia run away rudi kupenda mungu and come back and love god mtumikie kwa furaha and serve him with joy tupendane let us love one another hallelujah hallelujah bado atafanya kazi na sisi and he will still work together with us na waomba tusimame let us all stand up hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Anasema, he is saying, yeye anafanya kazi. He is working na wapendao. Together with those who love. Si wale nyunyu nyunyu. Not those who are murmuring. Ndio maneno yamebadilika. Or things have changed. Tungekuwa hivi. Tungekuwa nini? Na missionary alipewa kanisa. And missionary will be with the church. And the foundation. Ukimtumikia Mungu kwa furaha atakubariki. If you serve God with joy, he bless you. Atamuru hata ndege utabarikiwa. He will command even an aeroplane will come. Leo mnarudi mwatazama mahali. But then today you are looking at a place. Amen. Amen. Tumikiani Mungu kwa furaha. You serve God with joy. 
Stop prating because that will never bring blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anasema, he is saying, and you will serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your water, and your food, and again, he will remove all diseases from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the devil is hunting that we should be here before the Lord. Let us tell the Lord to return to us the joy of salvation that we have before. That we may be healed of all the heaven that we have in our hands. They went to Jesus Christ. And they told him, we have been sent by John. That we may ask you, are you the one who expect another one? He healed the people. The lame walked. And the deaf healed. And the dumb were here talking. And the poor are getting healed. And again he said, Go and tell John what you have said. And blessed is that one who is never offended of me. Why are you not blessed? Amen. Amen. Because you are doing the work of God, but you have no joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are offering to God really, but you are not hating, you are not loving.
na wewe ulikuja tuwe na uzima tuwe nao tele na umedhihirika kwetu umetenda kazi kubwa maisha ni yule dugu yule dada ameona uwezo wako ni kwa sababu amerudia dhambi hakufuati tena kwa furaha amerudi kuchukizwa na ile peli iliyomuokoa kweli amerudi kuchukizwa nayo baba na kusii Mungu amwandilishe ndani ya mtumishi wako turegeshe furaha ya wokovu ile ya kwanza baba tuliyokuwa nayo tukakufuata kwa kupenda kwa furaha tukaona baraka tukaona mema ukaponya manunguniko katikati ya watu wa Mungu maana walipokununukia wewe kuna nyoka zilikuja zikawauma ndio maana leo ni wasiwasi na hofu maana shetani amewinda roho za watu wako kuwaondolea kule kupenda kwa kwanza kuwaondolea ile furaha ya kwanza leo wamejazwa maneno mengi wamejaa maneno mengi wanaenda kwa akili si kwa imani tena samee baba watu wako ukawaponye kule kutukizwa kuliko tiwa na shetani mioni mwao ukawaajalie baba kupenda maana unafanya kazi na wapendao unafanya kazi na wapendao wa kutumikiao kwa furaha watubuo kwa furaha wanaopendana wewe unape, unakaa kwa wapenda nao si wenye kutukiana saate Mungu amwandilishe naamini bwana Yesu huku tuita tuangamie ulituita kwa ajili ya ufalme wako na ufalme wako baba tunaoanza duniani hapa ulituita utie utukufu wako maishani ubariki maisha ya watu wako wawe wazima wa kutukuze wewe na watoto wao na miji yao maana ulituita utukuze watu wako sante baba naamini waenda kuregeshea watu wako kupenda kule kwa kwanza mioyo ikufuatao kwa kupenda kwa furaha maana unafanya kazi na wapendao sante kutenda kutimiza sante kutenda kutimiza hebu ndugu mpendwa my blood brother yesu kristo jesus christ yeye yule jana is the same yesterday na leo na milena and today and forever bwana leo afanana mabadilika why should he look like he has stayed? wewe ndio umerudia dhambi you are the one who's gone back to sin upendi tena you no longer love umejaa hofu you are filled with worry unarudi kwenda kwa akili you have gone back to bent to bent by imani tena not by faith and it Umeacha msingi ule aliopewa mwanzilishi. You have forsaken the foundation that was given the Kwa imani. Of faith. Alituita tule kwa injili. He came us to eat. Leo umejaa wasiwasi na kutazama. Today you are feeling what is and looking. Unatazama anga. You are looking at the sky. Na mazingira. And the environment. Umtazame Mungu tena. You're not looking at God anymore. Umeacha msingi. You have forsaken the foundation. Yesu Kristo. Jesus Christ. Yeye yule jana leo leta milele. Anafanya kazi na wapenda. He is working with those who love. Siwe kutukizwa. No people are offended. Mwambie bwana Yesu mchana wa leo. So tell Jesus this afternoon. Baba nijalie. Lord enable me. Unilegeshe. Return to me. Furaha ya kwanza. The first joy. Pendo lile la kwanza. The first love. Ile kwa nalo kwanza that I had at the beginning hata ukaniokoa uka ukaniponya and you saved me and healed me uniponye and healed me bila kutukiza kuliko moyoni mwako all the offenses that I may have ili wewe urudi kufanya kazi pamoja nami so that you can come back and work bana wewe hujabadilika ni yule jana na yule ta bila because I've never changed you at the same yesterday before and forever mimi ndimi nimebadilika I am the one who has changed regeshe furaha so restore to me the joy regeshe pendo la kwanza restore to me the first love bana unafanya kazi na wapendao now you working with those who love so wachukizwa wao wale wapendao no those who are offended by those who love Upenda. like the way lot love akamtolea mungu dhadhu za kushukuru and he gave to god a sacrifice of thanksgiving with joy hakuona anapoteza he didn't see that as losing anything akachagua kila kinono kila kinono akamtolea and he took mungu. every fat beast and gave Ali to god alifanya hivyo kwa furaha he did that with joy si kwa majuto no true regret ndio mungu akasema kutoka leo that's why god said from today sitaipiga dunia tena and no longer going to smile the heart wewe hata kama unaoba ya gani so even if you are evil in any way ukarudi kumtumikia mungu kwa furaha If you can come back and serve God with joy. Mungu Yesu ni yeye yule jana. God is the same yesterday Leo, and forever. Leo na milele na milele. Today and forever and ever. Bado hata ipiga dunia tena. He never smite the earth again. Maisha ni mwako mapigo yataondolewa. In your life all the calamities will be removed. Dunia ni wewe na mimi. The earth is your me. Hebu hivyo tumefunga macho. That we close our eyes. Kila mmoja kwa kinywa chako. Everyone through his own mouth. Mwambie Bwana Yesu asante kwa neno lako. Thank you. Ulifanya kazi na mimi. You work with me. Maana ni pa kupe 
nikapenda because that given me love nikapenda and i love nakutumikia kwa kupenda and i served you with love nikatubu dhambi kwa kupenda and i did all my work with love nikatubu dhambi kupenda ndugu i learned to love brothers leo shetani alinyang'anya kule kupenda today the demon has taken away the love and has made me to be offended wasiwasi na manunguniko what is and mamari mwambie bwana nilegeshe you tell the lord restore to me ya kwanza ya okovu Oh the first joy of salvation. Kwa kwanza moyoni mwangu. The first love that they had in my heart. Unikonye kule kutukiza. And heal me of all the offenses. Ili uzidi kufanya kazi pamoja. So that you can continue working together with me. Hebu tuombe kila mmoja. Let us all pray to God. Baba asante. Mwenyezi Mungu wa mbinguni na nchi. Mungu wa mwanzilishi ndani ya mtumishi wako. Wewe ulianza vyema kati ya ndugu hawa baba. Ulidhihirika baba katikati ya watu wako maana wewe ulisema baba ulio wajua tangu asili na uliwachagua tangu asili ili uwahesabie haki watukuze na utukufu wako tumeuona baba umeponya umebariki lakini leo vileo vimerudi maana wamerudi kutenda dhambi wameondokewa na ile furaha ya kwanza shetani ameondoa ile furaha ya kwanza kwa watu wako furaha ile pendo lile la kwanza kupenda kule kwa kwanza kupenda kule kwa kwanza kumewaondokea watu wako shetani alinyemelea mioyo ya watu wako baba furaha ile ya kwanza kupenda kule kwa kwanza kuliko waletea baraka kumewaondokea ali shetani amewaondolea ili wewe usifanye kazi katikati yao samee watu wako baba kila kutukizwa ukaregeshee watu wako baba kupenda kule kwa kwanza nyoyo ipendao nyoyo yenye amani kwa kutumikia kwa furaha kwa kutolea wewe kwa furaha bana maana unafanya kazi na wapendao kasamee watu wako uwaponye kule kuchukua uwape kule kupenda baba ili ufanye kazi pamoja na baba asante na mshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu wa mbingu na nchi ni asante Tunakushukuru wewe mfalme wa mbingu na nchi Jalie baba kwa wale wapendao kila kuchukizwa na aibu na hofu na manunguniko yaondokee watu wako wana wana wa Israeli waliponungunika hawakuwa salama hawakuwa salama kwa manunguniko wewe ulichukizwa na wao ulichukizwa na wao baba walipokunungunika wewe wana wa Israeli baada ya kudhihirika kwao kwa ishara nyingi walipochukizwa hawakuwa salama lakini wale waliopenda walikuwa salama wakafika nchi ya Kanaani Asante bwana Yesu na kushukuru uliwaita watu wako hawa baba ili wahesabie haki na uwatukuze kwa jina la Yesu kila kutukizwa kuondokee watu wako kwa jina la Yesu kila kutukizwa ambako shetani ametia katika mioyo ya watu wako kwa jina lako bwana Yesu Watu wako waumbike kule kupenda furaha ile ya kwanza ya wokovu iumbike ndani ya watu wako amani ile bana kutoka mioyoni mwao wakupate wewe kwa furaha kwa amani ili uendelee kufanya kazi Sante baba kwa jina la Yesu kule kupenda kwa kwanza na ile furaha ya kwanza iumbike ndani ya watu wa Mungu shetani utoke katika mioyo ya watu wa Mungu hawa bewapa maneno mengi kununika ili Mungu asifanye kazi katikati yao utii na utoke kwa jina la Yesu waumbike wenye furaha asante baba samee na kuponya kanisa la asante bwana Yesu kuregesha pendo la kwanza kuregesha furaha katika moyo wa kila mmoja asante kutenda amen Haleluya. Haleluya. Tunaamini Bwana amefanya. We believe that the Lord has done. Haleluya. Haleluya.
Fanya kazi. He's working. Together with those who love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shetani, the devil knows that the weapon is love. Because he's saying you are many with three things. Faith, hope, and love. And he's saying out of all, the one which is big is love. Because love perseveres all. And believe all. Believe that you can sleep hungry. And again, tomorrow, the God will open the door and there will be so if for hunger comes, you don't believe that tomorrow there's a door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we are here until we And we are healed by faith in the name of Jesus. Because we are not alone here. The Lord of God, Emmanuel Kiamzungu, is together with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Surely. So before he close the service, we have a brother who has passed on in Kaloleni. He's called Alex Juma. He's our Christian. He's He's Alex Juma, our Christian. You know him. He's a brother from Kaloleni. He may be late to rest on Tuesday. Or maybe if they are loud on Saturday. But we are so if you have a shilling after giving your arms, if we say sorry, Amen. Amen. At Pastor Oma's place. Even if you bring it to tomorrow, today, 50 or maybe 100, at least we may comfort the family. Our brother Alex Juma. Amen. Amen. Let us cry together with those who are crying. So let us all close our eyes. And one brother to close the service with a word of prayer. Ana umeona ni kweli maisha yetu yameharibika njia zetu zimekuwa nzuri kwa sababu tumeacha kule kupenda nao maana umesema katika neno la wewe ufanya kazi bwana kwa wale wapendao katika kuwapatia mema umemema bado yako bwana lakini umeona bwana tumeacha kule kupenda Mungu wa mwanzilishi na kushukuru kwa hiyo siri ya wokovu ambayo umeituma ninaamini umewaamani kila mmoja bwana aliyenyekea miguuni mwako bwana umeumbia upya tena kule kupenda mwokozi ili kaweze kufanya kazi pamoja na kila mmoja wetu baba unasema ni asante kwa hiyo siri uliyoituma tazama baba wa mbinguni umemtumia mtumishi wako baba msaidizi wa mtumishi wako baba tazama mfalme wa amani naamini mfalme wa amani kila mmoja wetu ameweza kufaika kutokana na hiyo siri Baba wa mbinguni tazama tumefungua ibada hii mikononi mwako na tunairudisha tena mikononi mwako Bwana tazama ukatukumue kwa amani baba tazama nyumba ya mwanzilishi wako kazidi kuijaza baba amani na uzima na furaha tele na mtumishi wako mfalme kamtie nguvu kamkamilishie uzima kamili baba wa mbinguni nasema asante tazama ukatukumue kwa amani ukatusafirishe kwa amani sehemu tunazotoka mfalme wa amani nasema baba wa mbinguni ni asante kwa sababu umetia Tena umetenda na unaenda kutimiliza. Ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo, mwokozi wetu. Amen. Asante bwana Yesu. Karibu mama yetu. Nina wasalimu katika jina la bwana Yesu. Amen. Na Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Uzima wangu wote nakupa baba 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 
Mazima wangu wote na kupa baba Mazima wangu wote na kupa baba Furaha yangu yote na kupa masia Furaha yangu yote na kupa baba Mazima wangu wote na kupa baba Mazima wangu wote na kupa baba Amani yangu yote na kupa baba